So, so early voting has started in a lot of states, and right now it, it, it's a good sign. There's a lot of good signs uh, that, that we're, we're meeting expectations from 2018, which we're, we shattered records then. We shattered records uh, in 2020. Uh, the information that's coming in is that early voting is on par or above those years, which were both record-breaking years for early voting and early voter registration. So that's some really good news. It's bad news um, for the Republicans if they lose in a landslide because of with Roe being overturned, women signing up in droves uh, uh, like never before to, to, to salvage what is left uh, of their reproductive rights and so on. You know, let's say it is a landslide and the Republicans lose in, you know, most of the states, right? There's going to be a, a Trump style stolen election gambit we're going to have to run. OK, because this is the precedent that Trump set in 2020. Everything the GOP doesn't like uh, anytime the GOP doesn't win, uh, it's a stolen election. You know how they love to just uh, use and abuse democracy uh, when it doesn't serve them. We get it. We all understand this by now. Um, I'm just saying brace for this possibility if, if the turnout is big for Democrats, if these uh, good indicators, uh, you know, show that the Democrats are going to win in a majority of places across America in 2022, you know, brace yourself for the, the big lie to reanimate itself uh, all across this country, because this is the playbook. This is what they have left. They don't have anything to offer Americans, uh, e even with inflation, you know, gas prices and, and food prices. The GOP has refused signing bills that would curb inflation. They have all voted against it. It's all hyperpartisanship across the board. Um, and people are always like, oh, no, it's a poison pill bill, Dave. Don't you get it? Poison pill, if you analyze this just a little bit, all it is is compromise. The Republicans won't compromise to get what needs to be done for the American people, which is to curb inflation. But they say, oh, poison pill, poison pill. No, you don't want to compromise. We all know that. We get it. We know who you are at this point. So, mm, I hope people are just aren't buying that lie because it's it's so obvious that the, anyone who who follows Congress in, in the votes, the GOP has voted across the board when it comes to curbing inflation, healthcare costs, you name it. it it's just down the board, no votes. Okay, a lot of people don't know that. Because they're too propagandized by Fox News, who keeps people drunk on opinion talk and all this other crap, and, and no one knows what to believe anymore. We're effectively post-truth at this point, folks. It's just sad to see it happen in real time. But yeah, I, I'm just kind of, a part of me is bracing for, you know, the big lie to reanimate itself. If those Roe versus Wade uh, you know, voters show up, there's 167 million Americans that decision affects. I think a good portion of them, a portion of them are going to show up. They should if they're informed. But once again, you know, we're, we're, we're in a big time information war these days where, you know, it, it's post-truth. Nobody knows what to believe anymore. No, it, it's just hyper partisanship across the board. Um, and you know, <laughs> it's just ridiculous because independents like myself, we're the biggest voting block in the country. Okay. And I just get reduced to being a Democrat in every conversation. And I'm so sick of it. Like independents make up like 35, 40% of voters in this country. And we're all getting reduced to either Democrat, Republican in discourse. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the small brainedness. 
That is not a word. I'm <laughs> see whenever I whenever the video goes over five minutes, I, I, it's just it, it gets messy, and uh, I'm gonna do some brain farting. Anyways, that's a good time to stop the video. I'm gonna go for a walk. Let me know your comments down below.